we now turn our attention to boxing, an upcoming heavyweight world title fight coming up on the 26th of August 2023. It's held in Warsaw, Poland at the Stadion Rocklo. Um, Alexander Usyk's IBF, IBO, WBA and WBO world heavyweight titles will be on the line. And um, I think people are sleeping on this fight a little bit. It doesn't seem to be getting that much attention. I mean, there's a lot of heavyweight titles on the line there and a lot is at stake. We've got Daniel Dubois, 19, 1 and 0. So that one loss to Joe Joyce, 19 wins. We've got Usyk as a professional, 20 wins, no losses, no draws. And, um, you know, the consensus is gen generally that Usyk's going to win and win handily. If we look at the odds, we've got Usyk as a renowning, resounding sorry, favourite, 1 to 9. We've got the draw, 28 to 1. We've got Daniel Dubois, 15 to 2. So the idea is that Usyk is going to be too skillful, too tricky. Um, he's too experienced, undefeated, uh, undisputed at cruiserweight. And then he stepped up, he's beat Anthony Joshua twice. And the idea is Dubois, who looked very poor against Kevin Lorena, a cruiserweight effectively, was dropped. Had problems in that fight, he got through it in the end, but it wasn't a good look. And then we've got Shane McGuigan, he parted companies with McGuigan. So it kind of looks as though... Well, well, the rumours are that McGuigan had the choice of Caroline Dubois or um, Daniel Dubois, and she went with Caroline. So that's not a good look. And now Daniel Dubois is linked up with Don Charles. And um, so all these things culminate. Obviously, he's lost to Joyce as well. Um, these things culminate, and people think Usyk is going to win and win handily. I've got no problem with Usyk being the favourite. He's undefeated. He's shown that he has prowess at heavyweight. He's got the boxing skills, he's got the movement. We know all the boxer tricks he's got. He's a Hall of Fame fighter, that's great. The thing is, this, this is heavyweight boxing. I don't think Usyk has actually um, really had a heavyweight test. He has. He did against Chisora. Chisora dusted him up and made it difficult. Joshua had his chances to win the fight, particularly in the second fight. In the ninth round, he should have won the fight. But he didn't put his foot down at the right time and gave Usyk time to kind of um, find his composure um, find his range and, um, you know, avoid defeat. Should have just jumped in the ninth round. Usyk was going, the body shots were hitting home. And Usyk was feeling it and he could have got rid of him. But he took it a little bit easy. And um, instead of closing it out, uh, Usyk was able to turn up the heat, use his footwork, use his output and get the points with. Dubois is a bit different. Um, the good thing about Dubois is he's going to keep it simple. He looks for the knockout. Dubois is not a guy looking for points. He's not leaving it in the hands of the judges. He's trying to knock you out. And um, that could work against Usyk. A lot of people are saying puncher's chance. I heard Mark Tibbs say, oh, he's got nothing more than a puncher's chance. Well, it's a hell of a punch. Um, Daniel Dynamite Dubrai doesn't have that name for no reason. The main issue is him coming off that weak performance against Lorena. It was weak. It looked bad. You know, he should have been disposing of someone like Lorena. And it looked like he may have lost something. And then you, we wonder why is McGuigan McGuigan parted company with him when he knows a title fight against Usyk was on the horizon. It seems a bit strange. But you know what? Strange things happen in boxing. We've seen upsets. And Dubois has got all the tools to deliver an upset in this fight. We have to say Usyk is the favourite and he's the rightful favourite. But one to nine? Is it, is it one to nine that uh, Usyk's going to win this fight? A lot of people seem to think so. But I just think in terms of value... So if I go and do, bro, obviously you're not going to go mad. We know that Usyk is uh, likely to pull it off on points. You know, some people even think he'll stop Dubra. You know, he'll be too good boxing-wise, get a lot of shots away. He'll avoid Dubra's big punches. Dubra will tire and then Usyk will stop him. And a bit like the Bellew fight at Cruise. Oh, was that a Cruiserweight? Yeah, a Cruiserweight. Title fight at Cruiserweight 2018. But I just think we've got to look towards Dubra. And we look towards Dubra. Um, via KO with a small stake, a conservative stake, the sort of stake that if we win, win a nice amount, and if we lose, we'll get over it. You know, not going mad with it. Usyk's the favourite, said that several times, and the rightful favourite, but I just think there's a bit of value on Dubois. I don't think Dubois should be any more than a 5 to 1 chance. He's heavy handed, he's dangerous in the first 3 to 4 rounds. It looks like Don Charles, as a heavyweight specialist, has helped him with his mentality. If you look at the Dubois interviews, Dubois's talking a hell of a strong game. Saying things at the press conference like Usyk's had a great run, but all good things come to an end. Some of the lines he's been throwing out, you know, Apollo Creed would have been proud of in Rocky 1 and 2. He's been going for it, the mentality's right, positive mental attitude. Obviously Usyk's a wizard, so 
Lucic might go in there and make him look silly, but when you're getting odds of 10 to 1, do bye bye KO, you have to give them strong consideration. In terms of method of victory, if we have a look at the different options that are interesting, you've got do bye bye KO 10 to 1. Um, Usyk points 3 to 1. It's not a bad price, you know. Usyk has taken a lot of heavy fighters, you know, heavy heavyweights to points. Joshua twice, Murat Gassiev at Cruiserweight. Um, Chisora, so he, he's able to take heavier fighters the distance and sort of strangle them out and drain them out and get the points win as they tire his stamina seems to increase it later on in the fight but um, you know if, if he gets knocked out his stamina isn't going to be an issue is it so that's what Dubois got to look at Dubois got to bring the heat for, for four or five rounds because if it goes past that Usyk is you know heavy 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 favorite at that point so he's got to really get rid of him Throw some bombs. Intelligent pressure, you know, double and triple jabs. Looking to set up a right hand. He's got to throw combinations as well. He's got to kind of empty the tank, I think, in the first four or four, four rounds, I'd say. Because, you know, Usyk, you've got to get him out of there. Obviously, Usyk's going to be dodging, ducking and dodging. And what I'm saying is, easy, is, is easier to say than to do. But you only got to get one on the chin. And I think Usyk will go. You know, he's taken punches from Joshua, of course he has. But when Joshua had the chance to finish him, he didn't take the opportunity, particularly in the second fight in the ninth round. So Usyk is not unbeatable, you know, and particularly by a heavy-handed, focused, um, determined young lion, 25-year-old, uh, Dynamite Dubois. I know a lot of people are listening to this and thinking I'm mad, and maybe I am. But what I'm doing, I'm looking for a bit of value. I'm not looking for... Um, bets where you have to put a fortune on. If you, if, if well, for those that are so confident with Usyk, why don't you put, put a couple of grand on at one to nine? Let's see how confident you are. You know, the value is to put a conservative stake, Daniel Dubois, ten to one out there in the market. Put a little bit on there and enjoy the fight. If Dubois loses, so what? You lose that conservative stake, and if he pulls off the dream, you're going on holiday. So there we are. So that's the way I see it, really. He's got the mental attitude at the moment, Dubois. Don Charles has galvanised him. He's very confident as well. Again, I can hear people sniggering in the background saying, Don Charles, you know, he, he had Chisora. He hasn't really won a world title fight. Hasn't won fights at the level Usyk has. And that's all true. But what you've got to remember in boxing is that styles make fights. And the styles in this fight make it a possibility that Dubois can get the win. And I'm prepared to roll the dice on that and give it an opportunity. Um, so yeah, Usyk undefeated, but ageing now, would have shipped a little bit of damage against Joshua, Joshua had his chances to beat him and he hurt him, he definitely hurt him in that fight, he was backtracking and backpedalling at stages, wear and tear, a little bit of wear and tear from those two fights, Joshua heavy handed, unfortunately couldn't, Joshua couldn't step on the gas and get it done, but you know, that's fair enough. I think in this fight, in terms of the value, I'll be looking at Daniel Dubois 10 to 1 for the stoppage. KO or TKO. Um, please give your comments. Please let us know which way you think it will go. Think, let us know if you think Dubois has a shot. Does he have a puncher's chance? Does he have a bit more than a puncher's chance? But most importantly, enjoy the fight. 26th of August, Warsaw, Poland, Stadion, Rocklaw. Let's enjoy the fight and let's, let's hope that it's a big one and a good contest in heavyweight boxing. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.